Hey there. People often ask me what is Moto CMS and what are the reviews about it. Um, first thing uh, about Moto CMS is that it's a website builder, uh, also known as the software allowing you to build a website. As you may know from the previous episodes, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the website building software may be downloadable and may be hosted on the provider servers, also called the SaaS option. Um, so. Um, uh, with the, uh, the downloadable product, you do need your own hosting. You do need to install the product on, on your own hosting. Whereas with the SaaS option, everything is hosted for you and everything has been done for you. Uh, so anyway, uh, Moto CMS is from the downloadable group of website builders. Uh, it's traditionally very popular uh, for small business websites and photography websites because the, the system itself is optimized for visual elements. It has a lot of, uh, of visual tools allowing you to build a very attractive uh, website. The difference of Moto CMS from WordPress or Joomla or other uh, downloadable website builders is that Moto CMS is not open source. You do have to pay for a license to be able to use it. Uh, there are three licenses uh, uh, available for Moto CMS. They're priced from $99 to $199. Uh, the oldest one and the cheapest one is the Moto CMS Flash version. Uh, it has been built long ago. Uh, however, because of the uh, the uh, the Flash trend, the, the the falling trend of the Flash popularity, the company has built a newer version called Moto CMS HTML, uh, allowing uh, the users to build a non-flash outcome. Uh, both, both of these versions have mobile versions. Uh, they're not responsive. They only have mobile versions, they, which are kind of separate. Uh, and uh, the latest version uh, released in uh, 2015, I suppose, uh, is Moto CMS version 3.0. It has been completely rebuilt, I mean, completely from scratch. Uh, it is completely responsive, so you don't have to have the, the separate mobile version. Uh, it's very fast, and uh, according to the company, uh, the, the new version has the same traditions and philosophy, which, is, uh, which makes it very beginner-friendly. Um, and uh, what's also important is that the company claims uh, the new version to be 40% faster than WordPress, uh, which is a very nice thing if, uh, if that's true. As for the reviews, um, I mean, as with any, with any other product, there are reviews that are positive and there are negative reviews uh, based on the expectations and the experience of, of the user. Um, most of the negative reviews are about older versions not being responsive, which is pretty obvious because, uh, you know, that's flash. That's clearly a big minus for the old versions. However, uh, this thing has been fixed uh, with the release of the new version. Um, there are reviews about support services, which are mostly positive. However, there are several ones uh, which are negative because Again, uh, people didn't like to hear something that that you know that cannot be changed by the support team or by uh, the developers, which is, for example, the Flash. Um, and uh, the biggest share of the reviews are about the absolute positioning. Uh, this is actually a thing that has been present in the older uh, versions of Moto CMS. And uh, this feature made it possible to drag and drop uh, the elements uh, around the, the, uh, the editor window. Uh, and there's a lot of reviews about it. And oddly enough, there are positive reviews about this feature and there are negative. Uh, for example, this one uh, is clearly a negative one. Uh, it sounds like this. These systems do a lot of damage. Letting the client position elements and change the design uh, is a very dangerous and flawed thing from the start. Uh, and uh, as I said, oddly enough, the positive review is about the same thing from the other person. Uh, in my personal opinion, Moto CMS are value for money. Uh, I have read with interest the comments about the technical stuff of what you can do and what you cannot do with Moto CMS. 
And let me say this, it is exactly for this reason that I like Moto CMS. Um, so as you can see, the reviews are mixed. However, uh, they are most, mostly positive. Um, another important thing is that, as far as I know, uh, the company's policy uh, about the support services is that they have to be taken care of within hours after, uh, after they, they arrive. Uh, so uh, that's actually makes the support services uh, reviews uh, mostly positive because uh, people feel that they're being taken care of. Um, I hope this answers your question. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.